Hey, what's up guys? I want to talk about tables today. And this video specifically is going to go over how to use tables, not necessarily how to create tables. I'll make a different video on that. Um, <clears throat> this is just a quick primer, jump in and start getting uh, used to uh, how to operate a table um, because maybe you don't have any familiarity with them, but you're working on some drawings where there is a table and you need to quickly get a, um, an idea of, of how to operate one. So let's dive right in. The AutoCAD tables are much like a rudimentary Excel table. They've got columns and rows, much like you would see in an Excel spreadsheet. Um, you can merge cells, you can uh, enter information in each cell and change the data types and things of that nature. If you are using the ribbon, you'll notice that um, when you select a cell, you get this, um, this new tab in the ribbon that allows you to um, perform functions specific to tables. Not when you select the table itself, but when you select a cell in the table. If you don't have the ribbon open, what you'll get is a separate toolbar that pops up above the table. All right, let's open the ribbon back up. I'm gonna use the ribbon for this uh, particular tutorial, um, but the commands are pretty much the same. So let's say you come in, you got kind of a similar table of this one. It's got some merge cells, got some uh, cells of different data types, and you need to enter some information, copy some things, where do you go? What do you do? First, let's identify the parts of the table. Um, every table has cell styles. This particular table has um, three cell styles. You can make multiple, but there are defaults. And in this table, I'm using the defaults. And those cell styles are, uh, or it's the row style, I guess you could say. Uh, you've got, uh, uh, I'm losing my train of thought here. Uh, you've got title, header, and data, and they've each got specific formatting related to them. That way I can click on something like this cell here and change it in the properties here or up in your um, up in your ribbon. You can change the type. Uh, right now it's set to header, uh, but I can change this particular cell to um, title if I wanted to, and it changes the formatting of that cell. So if you need to do that, uh, you can do that right here with this drop down list. Um, Doing that, you can also change things like um, the fill. You can just change the fill and preview the fill from the ribbon. The toolbar, not the when you have the ribbon closed and you're using the toolbar, you don't get previews like this. One of the downsides, um, the ribbon's nice in that it shows you previews. Uh, if you're using the toolbar, you have to just know what you're what you're doing. Um, you can do like some formatting. Um, if you want to change your justification, uh, it looks like it's not showing the instant preview here, but you can do, you know, like middle left, it'll change your justification. So, okay, if you want to enter text, just double click a cell and start typing inside. If you know that you want to replace everything in the cell, you can just select and start typing. Maybe I want this to be something like size. You can just start typing and it will immediately overwrite what was previously there. So either double click to get in there and edit or just start typing over it. If you want to copy a cell, you can do that. You can just control C and control V or, you know, edit, copy, edit, paste, and it will uh, attempt to put the same value and data type in there. So um, where this right now, the formatting for this one is a number, um, see where's f uh, cell format. This is set to a whole number and I believe this is set to text. If I copy this over to here, the formatting should change to text because it's copying and it, and of course also not just f uh, data format, but any cell formatting gets copied over. So if it's got like a different font or background color or whatever that everything gets copied, that whole cell contents and formatting gets copied over to the, the next cell that you paste to or every cell. You can copy from one cell to a control C and paste into multiple cells and it will copy the formatting and text on all of them. It's really handy if you've got multiple uh, cells you need to copy into. Um, copying from, uh, you can copy multiple cells. So if I want to say I want to take these, you can copy into a selection or you can just pick the first cell and it will copy, you know, every relevant, you know, associated cell. So again, if you have any familiarity with Excel, uh, it works very similar in these regards. Now, copying into a merge cell, which is what you see here is different. Um, you'll know merge cells because you'll see that they've got, they don't have the breaks like the other cells do. You can unmerge a cell right here. There's an icon. You just click it, it'll unmerge it. And then the first 
uh, the, in in a, in, a, in the columns, the first column will be where the the um, the the data is put into is in that first column, and then you can always go back and remerge it. Um, but you know, even if even if I merged it, you'll see that it's um, it's the the height of the cell has changed, and I'll get in, into heights and all that later on. Okay, so let's say we want to copy something. We can copy a single cell here, right? But look what it did. It got rid of the merging and it copied them throughout every every row. It's like it's almost like it's almost like selecting the row, which you can do. You can select a row and copy. Um, let's go back. Control C, select a row. Control V, whole entire row gets that text. Okay. Um, same thing with the column. You can select a column. Made it a little harder to select a column. There we go. This one's not. Well, let's try this. Select the cell. There we go. Now I can. It's not wanting to play nice. Well, in any case, I'm not going to bother with it right now because I'm trying to speed through this thing. But there is way. If I can select a row, I can definitely select a column. Um, but for right now, it's wanting to select the entire table. So I'm not going to mess with that. Um, but. <laughs> That's how you can copy cells around. If you have multiple cells copied, like this, and you try to copy into a merged cell, it's going to tell you that it can't copy because it's merged. Okay, and it's trying to figure out the formatting. So you have to unmerge it and then copy. So keep that in mind when trying to copy into a merged cell. Um, you can copy a merged cell over to another area, and it will merge everything. In, you know, whatever's been merged, it'll merge it there. All right. So. I showed you already how to unmerge with this icon here. What happens if you need to merge some cells? Just select your range of cells and you've got options. You can merge all, merge by row, merge by columns. And that sounds confusing. Initially, if you've just got one row or one column selected, you can just say merge all. Now if you okay, well, so let's just let's try to choose like like this for merge columns. So so let's say merge all and it merges them all. If you've got a couple data types, you're probably going to get a warning about it. Only the content of the first cell is retained. So what me that means is uh, it's only going to keep this W8 by 31. It's not going to keep the plate information. If I do that, uh, actually, sorry, I misspoke. It's keeping the very first cell. So let's say this is up here, and this is my range I want to merge. Now it's going to keep the 831. Before it had nothing in it, so it kept the nothing. Okay, so if you have multiple... Uh, if you have multiple data inside cells that you merge, that's what's going to happen. All right, so merging by um, column versus merging by row. How, what, what's going on with that? Let's delete everything in here. I can select a range and just hit delete. Everything gets deleted. Okay. Let's say I select all this. If I want to merge by row, what's going to happen is it's going to take away the vertical breaks. So I'm going to say merge by row, and it took away the vertical breaks, so I have merged rows, much like you see here. If I do merge column, it's going to take away the horizontal breaks. So now each column has been merged together. So I, would, I, I have a bigger example of, of a table like this that shows row and column merges in specific ways, but that's a quick example of how you can do that. If you do merge all, it's going to merge everything into one block. So just kind of keep that in mind. And of course, if you ever need to go back, you can always unmerge, but try not to merge and then unmerge like on a data set. Just hit undo to get back to where you were. All right, so we know um, about how to copy cells um, and how they copy formatting, how to change your, uh, your, your uh, cell style. But what if you wanna make specific changes to that one specific cell? Um, you can do that with um, some of the stuff up in here. You can change your justification, as we saw. Um, you can change um, the font, I believe. You may have to come actually uh, highlight it, sorry, edit it, and then you can manually change it. What you get is a text editor now, and you can change the font and all that stuff manually. It's not a when you select the cell, you're editing the cell style and the cell itself, but you're not editing the contents of it specifically. When you want to edit the content, you can come in here and you can uh, modify the font, the size, the, the formatting, um, the, uh, you know, insert fields and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, adding and deleting rows uh, and columns. 
It's pretty simple, actually. You have a few options here. You can insert a row above or below where you're at. You can insert, and you can delete a row. You can insert a column left or right of where you are, and then you can delete a column. So let's say that I want to insert a row above this line. I can just say insert above. And there it is. The row has been inserted. And I can do whatever I need to do. Keep in mind that when you insert a row above, it matches the formatting of your source row. Same thing with the column. Uh, let's look at this, this quantity column here. Notice how it's real short. Doesn't matter if I copy to the left or the right. I'm gonna copy to the right or insert right. What it's gonna do is it's gonna copy the formatting and the and, and everything. Basically, it's gonna duplicate this, this column to the right. And you'll notice it's got the same width, okay? Because it's basically taking this column and just duplicating it to the right. Um, if you want to uh, modify the width or height of a column or row after you've duplicated it or at any time, you can do so in the properties menu. You'll see um, the uh, row uh, cell width and cell height. So you can modify that stuff here. If I'm like, oh yeah, I need more room on this particular column, I can say three quarters of an inch and it'll widen it up. Um, you can manually resize columns and rows but it can get kind of quirky um, because what happens is you've got an overall grip here that stretches the entire table, but everything gets kind of stretched proportionately. So keep that in mind when you're stretching a table. You can also stretch each one of these grips on the columns. And I'm gonna turn my O snap off. Doing so only stretches that, that the border or where that grip is at, it, that, that vertical break, it stretches just that break, okay? However, the very last one will extend your entire table because it's extending the last cell, the last column. And again, if you wind up using this top one, it will just increase it um, all at the same ratio. Um, kind of the same principle with going downward. Okay, and then this one just does it in both directions. Everything's just growing at the same ratio. Okay, um, this one, uh, so you'll notice that when I select this, this has got um, grips right here, right, to stretch it left and right. And I've got, and this, and this is actually no grip at all, this goes left. But what about up and down? What about my rows? To resize rows, um, you're actually gonna have to click the cell. And when you click the cell, now you can stretch that particular row. And it stretches just that row, okay? Um, you can stretch the column also by clicking the grip here, but notice how what it's, what it's doing is it's, um, actually it's, it's, it's basically stretching it as if we were, sorry, let me step back here where this one moved it without adjusting anything else, just kind of readjusting the size of that column of these two columns. When you select a cell and do it, the entire table grows. So Definitely keep that in mind when it comes to resizing cells versus resizing the table itself, okay? All right, you see this, this, this grip here. What does this grip do? This grip is a copy grip. So I'm gonna put test inside of here. And much like Excel has, if I copy this down, it will copy down the word test. Um, same thing to the right, I can copy test. Um, it, it is sequential, so if I put one uh, I probably won't do it with just one selected. See how the see how the little um I have the little tooltip says one 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 right. It's just going to copy one, okay. But if I put one and then I put two, well let's copy this cell style down. Notice how it's it kind of got reset. Sometimes that happens. All right, now if I select both of them, I got one two. Now it knows it knows that I'm in a sequential order here. So it's going to see the tooltip says three and now four. And so there we are. It can automatically fill in much like Excel would do one, two, three, four. This is important to keep in mind because there may be times where you want to copy something down and you don't want it to sequentially increase. Make sure you just have one cell selected when you copy if you want to do that. You can go upwards as well, I believe. Um, you can go best basically back up. Um, if you want to copy, I'm just I'm just much more of a fan of 
selecting your cell, doing a control C, selecting the rest of them, doing a control V. It's just more predictable to me, but you have that grip there if you want to use that. Um, I feel like there was something else that popped into my head that I wanted to say, but I think, I think it's all right. Uh, oh, matching cells. So <clears throat> we said that this one, let's look, this one is set to probably a whole number. Oh, it's set to text. This one is set to a whole number. Let's say that I want to copy the formatting and the data type of one cell to another without actually copying the contents. You can do that with match cell. So what you do is you click match cell here. And when I click, um, it says, I already have my source cell uh, selected. It says select destination cell. Just click this. Now nothing's really gonna change. So I've already selected it. I, I click, you, it, it, and it's just a crosshair. So you just keep clicking inside of these. Like I'll click this one too. All right, now what happens is, See how the data format here is text? This one is also, oh, actually it didn't do it. I must be just formatting, so I misspoke on that one. I could have swore it copied data types, but I guess it's just formatting. So for example, um, if I wanna copy this style, match cell to here, and see now it's not even working for me, and I feel like I put, so there it goes. Uh, I guess you could just, just, it's just like some uh, factors like justification, since we are kind of in the justif uh, justification tab, it's a cell style, but it's not copying, it's not changing the data type. You can see it's still set to uh, row style data. And the, this changed to text, or it was text. So let's go match cell, oh, it went away. Match cell here to here. And it seemed like it worked. We'll try it to here as well. Whole number, whole number. So it doesn't copy um, the data type, just mostly justification, it looks like. So if I want to copy the justification from this one to this one, I can do that. Okay, fractions inside of cells. Um, when you have a cell set to a number and you put a fraction in, you can stack it. When it's set to um, general, and also text can stack, when it's set to general, let's try to delete this now. I must be thinking of something totally different. All right, well, we're going to skip on that. Okay, the last thing I wanna go over is formulas. Now, I have a simple formula put in here, and it does do simple formulas much like um, much like uh, uh, Excel can do. And you can see then you got sum, average, count, and cell, and then actually some special equations. But I only really use sum. I think most people will use sum. In this particular column, I wanna take the weight, and I wanna add all the weights together. So it's just like an Excel spreadsheet. Um, equals sum, and then in parentheses, you put your cell range. In this case, I've got E. Uh, I want to start with three, and I want to take it down to 23, just in case I had something here, or even 20 or 22. Um, doing that, I can add all of these up, and you can see that if I change one of these numbers to like I don't know 20, this number at the bottom 895 is going to change automatically. So um, you can, you know, use func like uh, use uh, formulas, uh, simple formulas, much like you would in Excel. In a more in-depth series, probably want to talk about table creation. Um, we can go over data linking. It's possible that you uh, could be working with a table that is data linked. What that means is the cell, sorry, the table is linked with an external Excel spreadsheet and all the values in the table are derived from that ex uh, Excel spreadsheet. And so you don't necessarily modify the table in AutoCAD, you modify the table in Excel. So you double click on the table and it would open up in the, the linked file in Excel and things of that nature. So 
Um, unfortunately, if you are forced to work with data linked video, uh, um, um, data linked uh, tables, um, I don't have one data linked right now. I'm going to make a video on table creation um, and how you can uh, link a table to an Excel uh, spreadsheet. So you have to go to that video and just jump to the part in the video where I'm talking about uh, data linked uh, tables. So but there should be enough to get you up and running. Um, familiar with how tables work. Um, like I said, you, you copy cells and, and, and uh, edit text and all that kind of thing. So I uh, hope that helps.